Our family has been growing vineyards for four centuries and our company was founded almost 50 years ago by our father Aldo. We are in the heart of the province of Treviso, a few kilometers from Conlegnano Veneto, the capital of Prosecco and Grappa, in Bibano, hamlet of Godego di Sant'Urbano, halfway between Venice and the Dolomites. The main building is an old farmhouse, partly built in the 1600s together with the small church. As you enter, you already feel at home, and the stones still have the ancient trademark. Next to the entrance, you can find the ancient hearth around which the families gathered in the evening. And the walls are adorned with the more than 350 awards we have obtained. Being sustainable and giving back to the earth what it has given us is our motto, which is why we only use electricity from hydroelectric sources, geothermal energy for the air conditioning of the environments, we recycle water. Polyethylene siliconized paper, up to 70% of the glass, comes from recycled production. And the paints are all water-based. Finally, paper and cardboard come only from sustainably cultivated forests. It all starts from here, from our luxuriant, sustainably grown vineyards that surround the company and from those located in the heroic areas of Prosecco DOCG, still cultivated by hand. Among these vineyards, we also have a small cellar to produce ancestral wines according to the rhythms of the seasons, re-fermented in the bottle with low alcohol content without added sulfites and sugars. The grapes arrive in refrigerated carts. They are then de-stemmed and finally softly pressed. One part undergoes a cryomaceration treatment and after that the separation from the skins. The must is then kept at zero degrees Celsius in steel tanks. It will remain there for a whole year in order to reach maximum freshness, which guarantees greater longevity and quality to the wine. At the beginning of the second fermentation phase, the must is placed in autoclaves. Brought back to room temperature, then the yeasts are added. This is how the sparkling process begins. The autoclaves are like large bottles, where fermentation takes place the same way it does in a normal glass bottle, with a perfectly identical final result. After the cold stabilization, the wine is filtered and finally bottled with very high-tech systems where the bottles are washed twice in order to guarantee perfect hygiene. Each stage of production is automatically recorded and each bottle is inspected, both electronically and visually, to ensure absolute perfection. Finally, they rest to regain their natural balance. At the end of the harvest, we have another precious raw material, grape skin, necessary for the production of grappa and in part also of liqueurs. To produce a liter of grappa, we need 12 kilograms of pomace, which after the separation from the must, is put in special containers to complete the fermentation. It is then distilled three times in stills with artisan care, under vacuum and in a bain-marie with separation of the head and tail in order to guarantee the best primary aromas and greater smoothness. Once the distillate is ready, it is diluted with water from the Alps so that it reaches the alcohol level of consumption, refrigerated at minus 20 degrees Celsius to solidify some of its parts and then filtered. The distillate coincides with the origin of our company. And here we can see our first boiler distillery. Some of our grappas are matured in oak and other fine wood barriques for 12 or 18 months, thus acquiring the characteristic hints of wood while maintaining the freshness and aromaticity of the original grapes.
We also produce extraordinary infusions and liqueurs produced with strictly selected raw materials with destination of origin or with certain traceability, often also organic, like lemon, pistachio, Sicilian pomegranate, Vietnam ginger or creams which come exclusively from our Alps. Then there is the bottling, done with high-tech systems and with manual quality control. The first one of our 30 Prosecco bars is right here, where customers are welcomed with a smile and a glass of wine. It is inspired by the ancient Venetian Baccari, with the aim of helping to spread the Italian food and wine culture around the world. The Grappa Museum is the room where we tell our story and that of other distillers, showing how the shape of the bottle has always characterized every producer. In the spice room, we do the tastings of the vermouth or the distillates, identifying them with their respective spices. The Art in Grappa room contains the history of the bottles we produced via glass blowing. It was exhibited for the first time in 1997 at the Italian Cultural Institute in New York and in other capitals of the world. The room also hosts Spirit of Peace, an artwork exhibited in prestigious museums around the world, consisting of two doves contoured by tears that turn into rain, symbolizing rebirth. At about six kilometers from the current headquarters, is the Sofieria Alexander, the original headquarters of the company, where the blown glass bottles are mouth-blown by our master glassmakers. Our logistic center is just a few minutes away from the headquarters in Fontana Freda, in the province of Pordenone, a large space to store the products at the perfect temperature air-conditioned with sustainable systems until the day of their departure for their journey around the world, where they will live on your palates.